Well, guys, two districts away from this door, if you can call this a door, is a car we will try to buy today. And it's a brand new car. And by brand new, I mean 25 years old car. But it's a legend. It's a Lancia Delta. Let's go and check it out. By the way, it should be pronounced Lancia, but it's too strange for me and I, I never even checked is, is it true. I call it Lancia and we are driving one today again, you saw it a couple of weeks ago. By the way, those guys who know history of Lancia, 25 years old means it's second generation Delta which means it's not Integrale because we don't have six figures to pay for the car. Still, it's a very sexy car, second generation, but it's not 2.0, it's 1.6, which is one of the best engines ever produced by Lancia. Four cylinders, 1.6 liters, over 100 horses. And that's because it's going to be a daily driver. We will fix it eventually. It's red, from uh, what I understood the owner. Uh, paint is faded, car wash messed up something, so now it's faded. Uh, my wife doesn't like red cars, so probably the gray, black, something dark. It has blue interior, which on red is uh, strange. So even on the gray will be strange to have blue interior. We will change that also. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, guys, we will daily drive that car and fix it eventually. By fix it, I mean it mean make it more beautiful. Um, it's one owner car, which is really important when you buy a used car, because. You know, when you buy a new car, you take care of it, you're careful, it's your pride and joy. There is exception to that rule, and that's if you buy a, basically any Volkswagen kind of car. <sighs> then you just stuff it with pumpkins, watermelons, organic manure, all sorts of paints, leathers, you know, you. Volkswagen guys don't care about their cars. Th that's what I'm trying to say. And this is completely other story. The seller is telling very good story. We will check it out. And uh, if it checks out, we will buy that car. Simple as that. Uh, I like everything what he said. So now just to check if it's true. So in a few minutes, Let's go and check the car. The first impressions, not so bad. The car is extremely dirty and the paint is faded, faded, faded. Clean up, polish up, nothing that can be fixed. And this rear end, hell yeah. Rear brakes, looks fairly new, rims, Unfortunately, there is aluminium disease. Yeah, it is what it is. On the front, plastic side skirts. Front brakes uh, looking completely new. New brake pads. Awesome news. Someone invested in these brakes. On the front, hit there, damage on the bumper. Right side, different kind of wheels, uneven gap on the door, not too bad. Blue interior that we mentioned, uh, I don't know. On the rear right side, we have some issues and we have cobwebs around the wheel. God knows how long this car was parked here. On the left side, a little bit of surface rust 
above the plastic side skirt. And plastic side skirts, they, they look awesome. They're so 90s. Uh, iconic point of the car from 90s but they hold the moisture and there is always rust underneath and untreated there will be rot and left side so far is looking fairly good only surface rust and dirt underneath there is no major issues on the left side there is a gap above the side skirt that's that's not a good thing but not a big problem underneath and underneath the car the left side is looking extremely healthy and that's a great great news no rust no rot i can see uh, brake lines are new exhaust is new underneath everything is everything checks out rear wheel arches are, are healthy only a little bit of surface rust Front wheel arches, left side is healthy, right side, wheel arch is good, but there is some paint. The right side needs a little bit of attention, again a little bit of surface rust. You can see the disc brakes are rusted, car was parked for a very long time. The biggest issue we found so far is the right rear end. Wheel arch is good, but inner wheel arch is rotted. You can see above the side skirt, there is toasted part of the metal. That side skirt issue with moisture, I said, and yep. There is a hole. A little bit of welding. Probably the whole end of the side skirt is gone there. That's something to address. Interior, dashboard is, is awesome looking. I, I like the interior design of this car. Blue color, I don't know. And it's, it's so dusty and dirty. It needs detail clean. Under the hood, car is looking good seems like a bit of coolant is missing which is concern probably we have leaks somewhere yep we need to check what's going on there oil is looking great smells good looks good tastes good there is no trace of oil around the engine at all which is great great news uh, seems we have a little bit of issue with fuse for radiator fan and that's strange i don't know what's going on there owner tells me it was fixed doesn't looking good right now i don't know we'll we'll see what's going on there the intake is completely new Structurally, under the hood, car is looking fine, no issues. Fluids, except for the coolant, are also fine. Everything under the hood checks out. Even the original stickers under the hood are still there low mileage car the trunk have some issues with the paint and in the trunk is the big issue non-factory aftermarket sound system it's looking great even the cover of the trunk was bended by the pure weight of the sound system under the cover spare wheel metal is great no trace of any major accident around the car at all no rust no rot in the trunk i must tell you guys 
this car is happy to run again. It was sitting for years and you can feel those years on the clutch. You can hear it by the way the engine sounds. Temp gauge is a little bit over 90. We have some leak, we saw the coolant is missing. A little bit of fix there needed. We'll see what's going on there. Time to check every knob, every switch to see if everything is working or not. But the car is so happy to be on the move again. Steering wheel feel is amazing. The car is so easy to drive. And the brake test, well, we have brakes, but they're not so good. The disc brakes are rusted. It needs time to self heal. It's the problem when you park the car. Car loves to be driven, guys. Don't just park it. Not this car, not any car. Drive it. Drive it and the car will be happy. And conclusion is, this is perfect project car for us. It can be driven daily and be fixed along the way. This is it. We bought it. Let's go and clean it for start. You guys remember the big hole we had here? Well, 
it's fixed. And no, I didn't just use duct tape, I used double duct tape. So it's fixed. Anyway, I think I messed up with the intentions of the car because as you can see in front, you can see here, this is the real intake. There is back side of it and it's used for cooling brakes. There, no Audi stuff, real intake. And what I'm thinking now is the Delta was doing self-modification. So there is intake here and there is a, well, hole there. So Delta was planning to do cooling on the brakes on the rear side, on the rear right side. And she must have liked it because she started doing it on the left side also. So I just probably messed up with the intention of the Delta with this. We will leave it for now. Well guys, sorry for not being in official t-shirt. It's super hot here. Workman Delta will continue. We will update you from time to time. My dear lovely wife will continue to work on. It's her car. Till next Monday. Bye.